Never sell stuff. I've got um, a history of Mike Dolbe contacting me saying, have you got, and uh, I, the, first, the first time I did that um, was, uh, so Mike used to bring over, uh, you know, various big name artists to do little clinic tours around the UK. And uh, the first time that happened was Stanton Moore came over and Mike said, have you got a 400? Well, of course I got a 400, I got three of the damn things. Um, well, I did have any, I sold two of them, but um, have you got 400? Stanton wants to borrow one because he wants to do something as part of his, his clinic. Yeah, sure, no problem. Only proviso, he can, can he sign the drum? Um, so I lent the snare drum to Stanton Moore and uh, I've got that 400, it's the only one I've got left. Uh, but it's signed inside the shell. You also signed a, um, I've got it somewhere on one of the walls. Uh, I've got a poster that says, uh, hey Dave, thanks for the luddy, stay funky. Um, it's one of the, the, the clinic promo, uh, promo posters. Uh, so I did that. Um, and then uh, Thomas Lang, uh, was doing a, a tour. Now, Mike, Mike and Thomas Lang go back an awful long time. Thomas, uh, before he lived in the States, uh, Thomas actually lived in North London. And uh, because him and Mike were good mates, I, I actually bought a load of uh, Thomas's symbols. Um, uh, Mike, he'd, left, he'd left a load of them with Mike to sell. But, you know, he'd gone to, to live in the States and he was just selling uh, Thomas's symbols. And I bought a whole load of them. And, uh, and then subsequently sort of later sold most of them because I'm like, oh, you know, it's, Minel's not really my thing and I'm, I'll, I'll probably never play these. And of course, I've got loads of Minel's now and I love them. Uh, so, you know, never sell stuff. But uh, Mike contacts me, says, do you have a DW Edge snare? Thomas wants to borrow one. Thomas needs one. I'm like, well, okay, what size do you want? I've got three of them. Um, and I have a 14 by seven, I have a 14 by six, and I have a 13 by six and a half. Um, and uh, it's, it, you know, he said, well, the, the 14 by six will be probably the best size. So um, I dig out the, uh, <laughs> funny enough, as I'm saying this, I've just realized it's, it's literally right behind the camera looking at me. Um, I, have, uh, I have what was, uh, I think, a limited run of the Waterfall Bubinger, uh, edges that uh, that came out when when DW did that kit uh, and and obviously the snare drums many many years ago maybe about 2006 or so uh, and I bought one of those and I paid 600 quid for it uh, lovely drum uh, you know but it, it was just like okay okay well I, I can lend you that drum that's that's not a problem it go out on tour with Thomas and um, and I said well again I think just sign the head for me that'd be fantastic and I've got that head in the other room, and uh, and well, oh, here's a photo of the head. Um, so I lent that drum, and it was only recently, it was in the last probably like year, I think. Uh, I, th I thought, you know what, I haven't got any photos of that. I wonder if I can find find a photo from uh, from that clinic tour with Thomas playing my snare drum. So here's a photo of Thomas playing my snare drum. It's a, it's the snare drum on the well, on the right of the picture, uh, strangely enough. Um, so yeah, there's that, and, and I did that, and um, and then more recently, the last time, the last time he uh, asked me um, was a very famous drummer, uh, Dave something or other. Um, uh, you know, been around since the eighties. Plays Yamaha. Uh, asked me if do you have any Weckle snare drums? Weckle can't get. It. He's playing Ronnie's and. He's having a bit of a trouble getting hold of one of his snare drums. I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't, I don't have a Weckle snare drum. So I, the last time he asked me for that, I couldn't actually help him out. Which is a bit annoying, but uh, you know, I guess it's just the way it goes. You can't have one of everything. I tried, but you know, 